Okay, I'm back with another video, uh, June 3rd, 2014. Uh, so this has been over about a month since I transplanted my uh, Ong Choi, or Asian water spinach. Uh, as you can see, they've been growing very well. Uh, they even produce side shoots. So this is one plant, but as you can see, uh, they produce multiple uh, side shoots. And Ong Choi, it's a semi-aquatic plant. Uh, they tend to produce a lot of lot of shoots, uh, but I noticed something. I observed something. And this is my second season growing this variety. Uh, I noticed something. I don't. I don't. I don't know if you guys notice. Uh, if you look at the leaves, uh, it's slightly wrinkled. As you can see, look at that. So, I don't know due to the lack of moisture or too much moisture. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but we, we have to wait and see. Maybe it's just as baby uh, leaves. But as you can see here, all of them kind of wrinkle, wrinkle a little bit. Now this is in the container. And I have about half an inch of water underneath there. So they constantly in the moisture. Now in this container, uh, which I grow last year, uh, Un Choi as well, I have tomatoes in here, I have uh, beets in here. But guess what? The seed from last season uh, actually dropped in here and then it sprouted and it grow like crazy. Look at this one here. Look at this one. This one grow a few weeks after uh, this container, but naturally it is already catching up. So sometimes, you know, nature <laughs> uh, do such a better job than, than us when, when it comes to, to producing growing things. So that's just one observation that I made. Uh, on this Ong Choi. Okay, so I'm going to show you also the uh, the one on ground. Now this one here is also the seed drop and it, it's, uh, it spouted. There's two plants here. Uh, also a slightly wrinkled. Uh, so I don't know what's the reason behind it. Maybe the temperature. I don't know. Okay, so let me pause this video and let me show you the other side that I had it on the ground. Okay, so I'm back again. Uh, so all this Ong Choi you see here, all the first transplant, uh, some of them don't even grow at all. Uh, this one here grow, grew a little bit, but compared to the one in the container and compared to the one that just spontaneously um, sprout by themselves, those grow a lot better. This do not seem to grow at all. Um, but then again, the leaves is not as wrinkled. Uh, maybe here I have more shade here. In this section here, so you have eight plants here, uh, cucumbers here, I got tomatoes here, and I have more tomatoes here. Look at these tomatoes. Oh my god, they're ripening up, huh? Look at that, beautiful tomato. Quite big too, good size. Um, so, so I don't know what's the reason behind the uh, wrinkly leaves. See, this is what normally you like this, the leaves to be like this, straight, pointed, uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, but without the wrinkle. So this here is his little wrinkle here. Uh, so the cause is still unknown. So I'm still trying to figure out what, what's the cause behind all the wrinkles leaves. Uh, so hopefully I will figure it out by growing this variety uh, for another extended season and to the next season. Okay, so this is just an another video for me to document all my progress. I hope you guys uh, get something out of it. And uh, thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And once again, uh, this is Ong Choi, or Asian water spinach.